Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we are going to be rolling corn in the storm. So Storm Brendan is well and truly underway. It's absolutely pissing rain, it's very windy. Hopefully the wind doesn't ruin this video but because there's no higher work going on in this kind of weather we need to get our grain rolled the last of it. We're out of grain, we've been rolling a bit in the bob just to keep the cattle fed. But we want to get it done now. And when I say we're rolling corn, we're not rolling corn on the cob or maize. We're rolling barley. So this is what we're rolling. So you can see it there. So we just have to finish setting up the mill and putting in our bags of inoculant. And then we can start filling the hopper. My father's gone. Our father filler's gone to get uh, grease to keep the machine grease while we're rolling. And as soon as I get everything done, I can start. And when he gets back, then we'll be full tilt. But as you can tell by the rain, the drone will definitely not be put up today. Also, just on the video, I'm shooting in super view, so I don't know how that's going to come out on the on YouTube. But you can let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. So it's uh, one bag of inoculant to three bags of frill urea, and what it does it increases the protein content of the grain, and it also treats it with an ammonium gas so it gives it a high pH which makes a very good feed for cattle and keeping cattle stomachs right that's why we use it so what have I to do now um, go put my bags of inoculant uh, or fill it first maybe no I'll fill it first and then I'll put my bags so anyways so I'll probably put on my camera or the camera on my head when I get filling it and we'll do a few nice shots and that but hopefully now this comes out all right so that's the last of our biscuit meal there uh, there's a bit of maize meal in it as well but we just moved it from the other side so we got a load of biscuit meal um the other day or last week so you can see it just piled up there that's why the mill isn't as far forward as we would like so it is going to be quite tight quite hard to get the bucket tipped and get down and out in a timely fashion so we'll leave it at that and we'll go start filling the hopper. So anyways that's the first bucket lifted up um, so we will be driving in if, you know just for any that don't know this teleporter is very rattly and very banging so you will have to excuse the noise Let's get turned so you will have to excuse the noise but um, anyways so that's the first bucket so what I'll be doing I'll be keeping the, it all swept back as we go in and out to stop the water being driven into it we will have a bit of a problem up here when we start pushing in so we will just because there's i can't avoid driving across the rolled grain there's just literally nothing i can do about it so we will have a bit of a problem up here with a bit of stuff coming back out of the shed but it shouldn't be too bad um something else then so i suppose some of you are probably wondering why on earth are we doing it in the rain why would we not do it on a dry day um, and would the rain not affect it? Well, because we are treating it, how we're treating it with the inoculant, it needs to be a certain moisture for the inoculant to work, for the urea and for the inoculant to break down and to do its job. So we do need, you can see absolutely feck all now through the screen. But anyways, we need it to be a certain moisture for it to do its job. And the grain is fairly dry now, it was, we cut it at 16-17% uh, moisture and the last bits of stuff that we treated we didn't think were... I don't know what I am for height now. Might just get out and check where I am now. So yeah, space is just a bit on the tight side. Just a bit on the tight side. So anyways, just for the inoculant it needs that bit of moisture just for it to work so 
It's not going to be the end of the world a bit of water again into it. I might actually help it keep a bit better. I mean, they're not going to work better. But um, anyways, that's really it. This is just going to take a while. It's very hard holding the camera and driving. It's normally a two-handed job. But anyways, I stop ranting and raving. I'll go get this filled and we'll come back then. And um, we'll probably do a bit of video and I'll fill in it later on when I get the strap on me or the camera strapped onto me head so we'll leave it at that for now so now we just have the hopper full I don't know can you see you might be able to see there but the hopper full now so we got to get her bags of inoculant and that put into it so where there's our bags of inoculant So I don't know, my father is actually just after driving back in there. So that's grand. Ugh. Ugh. It's not easy to carry a camera and pick up and carry bags, but you're calling them right. So also just have that sheet of plywood there just for when it starts filling up piles that uh, doesn't start pushing it in here because it won't be able to push it with the pillar there. So makes it a little bit more awkward for getting stuff into this so so that's our inoculant there it's gonna have to be broken down into it it's gonna be hard but that's not the end of the world it's all breaking up very easily so anyways I let my father do that. I think he's on the phone there. So we get her urea now for in there. So now, that's our stuff in, so we just have a bar there for a bit of that down, there is stuff in it, so we're off the, the finest. Anyways, so we go get this yoke started up, so with that in, so we have to hit this runner first, so if you get into the tractor, that's probably the hardest bit, because the batter didn't open up that side. So just in case we're running as well, we're rolling with the 60 to 70 at the front links. Look what she has, an exhaust! So she has, we got an exhaust put back on her there and we have the wheel put back on and the fender's all tidied up on her so we'll be going back out this door now these are getting an out so right right we're ready to start it up so switch it on We're up then to 540 on the shaft. Don't know, can you see there? Yeah, we think there's about 60 tons to be rolled. So 
we'll take care of it done today we'll probably finish it off tomorrow night or at some stage so that's the barley there so quite a bit of it there's a bit of green stuff you can see just growing there where it drips off the roof but not the end of the world anyways i'll pop this down somewhere and i'll get sweet from it That's it all tidied. This is one of the reasons why I do um, the telly work because I um, keep the thing tidy and I try not spill the grain. Mine be the quickest, mine take the fullest of buckets, but I don't spill it. Or I try not anyways. So that's why I end up with this job because I do it purpose to keep the place tidy. But anyways, we get to we'll go shift the lock of this first, make sure everything's okay and then we'll Probably stick it on my head, maybe get a few nice shots. You know yourself, use your old crack. But today will be a long day, and I might no point videoing every bit of it because this video will be hours long. So we'll leave it at that for now. So now everyone, we're just after coming back in from the dinner and um, we just stopped there after doing the time lapse but I just have to check this for water before we start up again. Make sure she's okay. Roll another bit. So you can see how much we've rolled there. So we've a long way to go yet. We can't see us having it done today. So anyways. There's water in it, but we're throwing, throwing our stuff in it. Just top her up. Yeah. So now, that's the tractor topped up, so we get in start her up. Start rolling again. The storm is practically died down and stopped raining. I don't think it's to rain anymore. But um, it's still quite windy. There's no real advantage putting the drone up because this is nearly all indoor work bar crossing the yard. So, very little point. Anyways, put it back up. Do some more time lapse. Put on my head. Maybe talk a little bit more. I might remember stuff that I was supposed to say that I didn't say. But anyways, we will get back to it. So. Throw this in here now.
Hello everyone. We're just camera on my head now, so we're just going to do a little run back and forth and push in all of this. So push in. I cannot see that ahead of me, but if I hit this button, bang, I can see everything I need to see. That light, that 30 inch LED light bar is some job. Absolutely some job. Just the amount of light that comes off is just ferocious. If you are interested in one, you can head over to LED Ahotech and they have them there and they also have a huge selection of lights there if you do want to have a look if you're in the market for a new light. But just have a clump of a light bar that is so it is. We're all happy with it. But anyways, so we're shoving back all this stuff now as you may notice it's very dusty and very dirty to cab all the windows and that. They were a bit cleaner before I started, but between the bit of rain that was falling and then the dust of the job, it's just completely covered the windows in filth. So there's not a lot. I'm afraid if I do go wipe them with windows too much, um, if I don't get like a bit of water on them, it lies smear them with dirt and I won't be able to see it. Be interesting to see now too with the new camera. Oh has high stabilization and it'll be interesting to see how good it is how good the stabilization is on it at this job get that window stop rattling went on the head because the head camera with the old gopro by jeez i had lads saying how bad it was make you feel sick because you want to try edit now oh man we is sick as a pig trying to edit them videos that's why i kind of went away from using it so it'll be interesting to see how this footage comes out so it will. Shots of this video will be the finishing of the video because I don't think there's much point showing you anymore because it's quite mundane, quite repetitive, you know. I don't know how my uncle sticks it when he goes off rolling on the country because it's just yeah, absolutely feck all to do so anyways i'll leave it at that for now <clears throat> so now everyone that's it for today's video so we've done quite a bit since i suppose the, the, the clip before so we're just finished up rolling for tonight we still have i'm very happy to say we still have a good bit more to go i was quite afraid that we didn't have enough uh, barley left to roll to fe finish feeding our cattle and we'd have to buy a meal but um i might just show you a clip of what's left but i'm quite happy there's enough left now to fill out this bay way out we might actually struggle to get it all rolled and pushed up which is a great complaint to have a great complaint i'm just over the moon now i didn't think we had as much barley as we did as the last time we rolled the pile that lasted us three months so if the next pile which will last like we give it another month we'll have a lot of cattle shifted out of the yard so like it should do even longer so i'm very happy we just spot on now spot on last year we run out of our own barley and we had to buy meal and it had break you it had break you so especially when you're you're getting so little for cattle but this year we could be we could be all right which is great, absolutely great. But anyways, that's it. Um, we'll finish the rolling tomorrow, what's left to be rolled. Um, just, we're not gonna get all done tonight. So it's grand, we'll get covered then. This is the end of the video, I won't be showing any more. It's just like, you can always show you so much of rolling grain and then like, you've seen it all. It's very little to be seen really. Anyways, coming up shortly is the start of the slurry season. It'll be kicking off today is Monday. It kicks off on Wednesday. So it'll be full tilt from then. But with the rain this after falling, 
Uh, ground conditions could be tricky by suppose we'll just have to wait and see what the outcome is but slurry season is coming up fastly approaching actually by the time you're watching this the slurry season have already started i'll probably have already me already made my first video at slurry so anyways at the time recording it's near, just coming around the corner so some of you may already know from watching the previous video we're going into a, i suppose for the use of a better word a, a partnership with farm flicks um mm -hmm. The best way to describe what Farmflix is, it's literally Netflix, but for farmers. It's all farming stuff, ag life, straight six, stockyards. It's all there. Very well, it's well worth checking out. In the description down below, there's a link. You can head over there and you can have a look at a little testimonial I give about it. I'm subscribed to it. It's well worth, it's well worth the money. And not alone are you getting great content by subscribing to them and... That you're also helping me and this channel out as well as getting all that great content So you can head in the description down below there and click on the link to farm flicks I'd highly recommend it great quality videos. So I'm gonna leave it at that and as always caps beanies everything else that I never have always forget is in the description down below just head down there read through you might find something that I forgot to say or maybe a hint at something that is to come God only knows what's down there at this stage anyways because i haven't decided what i'm putting down there yet but that is it for me please like and subscribe to my channel any comments as always hit me down in the comments down below that is it for me good luck <clears throat>